And welcome back. Joe Biden's 2020 rollout is looking kind of like the 2020 Democratic candidates who are men now reflexively say they will nominate a female vice president no matter what. I will have a woman running mate. To me, it's really clear that we do that. It would be very difficult not to select a woman with so many extraordinary women who, who are running right now. I've pledged that I would ask a woman to serve as vice president. I would put forward a diverse candidate. Joining me now is Michelle Malkin, conservative commentator, and Kelly Hyman, Democratic political analyst. Michelle, we're going to get to the uh, male Democratic candidates who are freaking out. But let's start. What the heck was Hillary Clinton talking about? Well, you know, Governor Huckabee, that the two L's in Hillary stand for twice a loser. And she is still grievance mongering. She's going to cling very bitterly uh, and uh, for time immemorial to this gender card and the idea that uh, the only reason she lost is, was because of gross systematic misogyny and sexism. And in terms of unconscious bias and unconscious sexism and, and misogyny, well, it certainly was conscious on the part of her misogynistic husband. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of conservative and independent women will not forget uh, the misogyny that Hillary Clinton showed uh, in her bitterness after her second loss um, about blaming them and, uh, and in the most sexist way saying that independent women voted for Donald Trump only because their husbands did, dripping with explicit misogyny. Um, you know, this primary that we're seeing now in this primary field of these 20 desperate liberals who all think the same, They're act not the desperate. same. Yes, they are. That's what this is about. And the, the pandering that's going on here to try and prove their progressive uh, bona fides is leading to some bizarre results, as, as uh, Governor Huckabee has said. Because you've got these white men who are tripping over themselves to self-flagellate when if they really meant what they said and wanted to walk the talk, would step aside and yield their candidacies to some woman of color. Uh, As a woman, be a great we know place that there me. is Kelly, sexism me, and let me, sexism Kelly, exists let me bring, in politics. Hang on, Kelly. Kelly, let me just pick up where Michelle left off. If these Democratic males who are running for president really believe that there needs to be an elevation of gender, then why don't they say, I would love to be the vice presidential candidate for <laughs> any one of our women Democrats who are running, because there several are. Why wouldn't that be a better way for them to prove how truly uh, focus they are on elevating women. Well, you know, that might also be a possibility. Ultimately, it's going to be up to the viewers, and they're going to make a determination on which Democratic candidate is, is best for the job, and that could be a woman or a man for the job. And as, as I stated before, that sexism does exist. And as a woman, and we, we know that. It exists in politics. A lot of times people won't vote for a candidate because she's a woman. Okay, but and let me stay with you, Kelly, because... You say sexism exists. I don't even argue that point. I think it, it truly does. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. No, but, but here's what I want to ask. If it does exist and there is a, a problem with women not getting uh, their fair shake, then why would women ever think it would be okay in the Democratic Party to select a male to be their standard bearer? Why wouldn't they just say, we're going to be the party that says men don't even apply for the job because this is going to be a woman's job this year? Because we're an all-inclusive party, and so by that Are means you? that we want the best candidate. We want someone that's going to unite our country and not going to divide our country. And whoever the, the American people decide to vote for and choose is the best candidate to bring forward. As I said before, we need someone that's going to unite us and not divide us. Michelle, and we've only got about 15 is, seconds. the Democratic Party will pick. We've only got about 15 seconds. Uh, Kelly says they're uh, an inclusive party. I don't know many pro-life people who are getting involved or invited to yeah, be Yeah, that's party. exactly right. And, in fact, you could talk to uh, the few independent Democrats for life out there, Feminists for Life, which is a fantastic pro-life group, and, and uh, the misogyny and intolerance they have felt. Um, well, I, as I said, this is the identity politics primary, and I think, ultimately, it is a recipe for self immolation the We've left go. will eat itself. Kelly, Michelle, thank you both for joining us. Happy to have you here. 